Hey, this is Joseph Lebrecht, and I'm going to be talking about the use of symbols within Adobe Edge Preview 4. So I've got a project open here, which basically has a little pendulum that swings back and forth, revealing text as it goes. So in our library panel, we now have a category, uh, number categories. There's assets, there's fonts, and there's also symbols. And we can see that I actually have two different symbols defined here. To define a symbol in Edge, you create an element on the stage or import it. And then I'm going to just hit Control-Y. And I suppose that would be Command-Y on a Mac. And then I can name the symbol. So let's just say square. And choose to autoplay the timeline or not. I'm going to just leave this checked. I can always change it later. What this means is that the timeline for the symbol is going to play automatically. It's very similar to how movie clips work in uh, Flash Professional. So I'll hit OK. And you can see that the square symbol shows up within my symbols. I can right click here and edit, delete, rename, or duplicate. I can also double click this on the text to rename it or I can double click the actual instance on the stage to edit in place. So when I do this, I can do something like, um, let's just rotate it. So we can see here it's just rotating. If I want this to rotate perpetually, I can just add an action <clears throat> directly on the timeline here and I'm gonna say play from zero. Play from zero is gonna start us off right at the beginning so it'll loop indefinitely. To go back to the stage just hit stage up there and you can see that we actually have a preview of the movie clip symbol instance on our stage. Um, the reason that we have that is because in the properties inspector here we have a few new things and one of them is scrub. So if I turn scrub off, it actually won't preview that as I scrub it, but toggling that on allows me to preview the animation as, as I do that. Of course, I can always do control enter and view it in a browser as well. So let's just get rid of that guy. In this particular animation, I've got um, a number of movie clips. I've got two. Um, forget about this square one. I've got the pendulum swing, which is going on here, and basically you can see on my timeline I've got the pendulum actually just sort of moving down, so the instance is moving down as it goes, but actually going into the, um, if I go into edit this here, and let's do control minus to, to zoom out a bit. So we can see here that I've actually got the swinging just sort of happening within the movie clip timeline, or <laughs> the movie clip, the symbol timeline. And at the very end, I've got a little action that just sets us back to zero. So this will perpetually swing back and forth. Upon the stage, I'm simply adjusting the Y property so that it moves down. So that's one way you can deal with, with nested movie clip symbols. Or, I keep doing that. Nested symbols within Edge. They're not movie clips because this is not Flash. Okay. So, there's one other piece that I'm doing, and it's not showing up in our Actions panel right now, or our Timeline panel, simply because I have the filter on, only showing animated elements. And that's this wall flicker symbol. This symbol... Um, actually isn't being animated at all on the stage. It's only being animated within itself. So let's edit that. And we can see the same sort of thing is happening here. I've just got sort of like a flicker effect on there. And the nice thing is, is I can just plop that on the stage. I don't even have to do anything. It'll just keep doing its thing over and over again, uh, unless I explicitly tell us to stop. But that's another uh, screencast.